your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's imperialism. What up? Sarah Bartman, Henrietta Lacks, and the human zoos. All of the idealism behind all of these atrocities are still going on today. Henrietta Lacks, she had her cells extracted from her body, which continued to replicate after her death. This is something that was never seen before by scientists, so they had to study. They got curious. A disease from Europe, Italy, in that area, derived through bestiality, syphilis, brought over to the Americas, and infected the indigenous, along with countless other things. So, experiments on the indigenous started to see what the disease of syphilis did to the, the human body, the human body of the indigenous. And these are things that are continuing to happen today. Experiments, research, on your people. Human zoos were a real thing. Obviously, it's been documented. Take human beings and put them in zoos on display for the aristocrats and dignitaries and just all the other assholes in society that wanted to see actual humans being exploited to that level. Still going on today. So, Henrietta Lacks, Sarah Bartman, and human zoos. Atrocities that still go on today. So the human zoos were outlawed, but still continued, and still continued to this day. No, you can't go to your neighborhood zoo and look at Tyrone looking around his balls or something like that or scratching on his chest, you're not going to see that. What you're going to see is entertainment figures, sports figures, all the same category. Entertainment sports is all the same. Musicians, rappers, things like that. This is how you take an actual physical human zoo and turn it into an ideal that the people participating cannot identify. But the ones orchestrating absolutely know what they're doing, creating a human zoo. So when you look at entertainment, look at, look at music, look at rap, look at the state of rap right now. Buffoonery, absolute buffoonery. To the point where it gets to the point where death is most likely around the corner for young rappers today. Why? Because of the zoology. Meaning, if you put animals in a cage, a mental captivity, by promoting nonsense and rewarding them for it, you get unnatural behavior as a result. You get not entertainment, but tyranny through music. So between the beats, the rhythm, and the voices over top of those beats, it all becomes sinister to the point where it changes your mental focus and turns your humanity into a spectacle. And specifically for... Uh, the indigenous this is provided for you to continue the zoology aspect of your exploitation so while you think you're free or being able to express yourself freely you are greatly restricted in what you are allowed to convey to general society and to your people first and foremost because they know most likely the indigenous are going to speak to the indigenous Indirectly or directly. So if you can control the media coming from those spectacles, then you can get your point across without you even 
having to make your point. So you use finances and economics to control and manipulate people's minds into doing things like animals, thus creating a zoo, which we all are entertained by and we all want to find out what's going on in these people's lives and things like that because it is Ophelia that we've all experienced as a result of this the the nonsense that's been promoted based on the idea of exploiting people exploiting people is something that that goes back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years even thousands of years for lack of empathy lack of emotional fortitude lack of humanity so here we have today in 2020 the very same very same things that were going on back in the early 1900s and before that and it's a shame that you know people don't see this because they want to take each individual scenario and analyze each individual scenario for what that scenario actually is or what it could be as opposed to looking at the root of all of these scenarios that are all tied to the same basic foundation exploitation and this is the fabric of the system of life that we have chosen to participate in It really needs to be some uh, recuperation and pride and understanding. Because it's not going to get any better unless we make it better. The automated agenda is alive and well.